everybody, this is Rocket Week, one of the most fun weeks for CC Science. Everybody loves this. So let me show you what our supplies are, and then I'm gonna give you some tips, and then I will launch it. That will be a little more difficult to see on the video, so there'll be some motion at the end. Just bear with me. Okay, so supplies. We have um, a few of these gallon jugs of vinegar. This is the body of the rocket. It's a 32 ounce bottle of vinegar. Any other, any, any kind of bottle would work. A firm rubber stopper, a jug for water, a funnel, baking soda, measuring spoon, toilet tissue, and your instructions. Okay, so what will we do? Gather your supplies. They will all be ready for you. Prepare your rocket. So when you prepare your rocket, it should look like this. The first step is to give the um, body of the rocket a rinse out because if the last class didn't rinse it out and there's still some baking soda in, in there, it will affect the quality of your launch. Uh, and so you'll want to rinse it out between each, between each launch that you do. Place the rubber band around the top of the label and put the four sticks evenly around the bottle and you just want to put a tip of them inside the rubber band and you'll test it by putting on the stopper and turning it over like this and you can see that it does not rest on the stopper if it happens to rest oops, sorry about that girls if it happens to rest on the stopper it is not a big deal it will launch just fine um, but why not just go ahead and check to make sure the supplies are all all on correctly before you get started. So then you're going to pour about one inch of vinegar into the bottle and that will be, you know, probably to this first rib line. And then you'll fill it up about one third full, which is really to the bottom of the label, with water. So to the rib line with vinegar to the label with water. Then you're gonna take a square of toilet tissue, oops, sorry, a square of toilet tissue and put about a half a teaspoon, excuse me, a half a tablespoon of baking soda in there. And then you're going to fold it up like a burrito. So you'll fold the sides in and then roll it up like this. So that you have a nice packet and your baking soda is not spilling out. Does that make sense? Okay, then you will move to an open area away from the supplies and children so nobody gets wet. You will put the charger into the rocket. This will be rolled up tightly. So let me roll it up tightly again. This is hard to do one-handed. You'll drop it into the bottle, place the stopper on firmly. Now this point right here affects the success of your launch. If you just put it in a little bit, then it won't take much time or it won't take much pressure to push out that cork and your rocket will not go as high. So if you push it in firmly as much as you can in the time that you, <laughs> in the quickness you're you're in the quick time that you're trying to do this. Sorry about that. Push it in firmly, turn it over, like turn it over with a shake and set it down. And then stand back and watch it fly. Just remember what goes up is also gonna come down. So you're gonna have bits of toilet paper, you're gonna have liquid, and you're gonna have the bottle all, all shooting back down to earth. So just be aware of that. Okay. So those were the steps. Let's see if I can do this for you so you can see it launch. Hold on. Okay, so I used my funnel to pour in my vinegar and my water. Now I'm going to take my charger, cork, and bottle down to an open area so I can launch it. All right, hold on. Okay, so I want you to be able to see this if you want to, so it will be a little bumpy when I turn to run back. All right, hold on, here we go. Stick in the charger, put on the cap, give it a shake, turn it over. Yeah, 
and it's building pressure. You can't see it from the video, but I can see it on mine. What's taking so long? Oh, it's not working. Now it's making me nervous. You can see it's bubbling in there. Pressure is building. You can see the top of the bottle has bulged out. Maybe I put the cork on too firm. Oh, now I'm getting nervous. All right. Oh, this is taking a long time. Is it going to go? I wonder. See, the bottom of the bottle is um, concave like this. Is that right? Concave? And this one is convex. Look at how it's pressure. Oh, I'm so nervous. See how, see how it's no longer, no longer denting in. It's totally denting out. Oh, I put the stopper on too high or firmly. All right, hold on. I'm going to throw this bottle at it and see if it'll work. Oh, I missed. Hold on. All right, I'm going to throw this bottle and see if it'll work. Oh, I missed again. All right, I'm gonna throw this bottle and see if it will knock it down. Oh, please. I obviously was never in baseball. Hold on. All right, let's see if I can knock it down. Oh, oh, come on, come on, hit it. Ah! Oh! All right, so I had to make another one because I put the stopper on too firmly and it didn't explode. So let's try it. Let's try it like this, okay. Here we go, sorry for the shaking. See the bubbles building up. Why are my rockets not exploding? There we go. That was cool.